what what are we talking about here? What are we talking about here? I sat back for the last couple of hours listening to this whole spill about 87, 90% of games not being preserved and it's the game industry's fault. Now, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. In a way, it is. But to be honest with you, it is our responsibility. I'm about to talk about this completely because I've been watching. Now, I'm a, I already know I'm a fairly small channel. I just have a voice. I love to talk about gaming. It's one of the reasons why I love this hobby. But I'm going to tell you something right now. If you want to preserve these games, it is our responsibility. Point blank, period. It is our responsibility. And I've seen people with thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of subscribers on YouTube, and they're pointing the finger at the gaming, gaming industry. And I'm not even caping for the gaming industry. I'm going to tell you right now because they don't care. We all know they, they don't care. They're ready to, 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 to take somebody down who's trying to pirate any of their stuff, emulate any of their stuff. So you, you already know what time it is. The only thing they want to do is try to profit from it, and they don't want to take the time to profit from it. This is why the PlayStation Store the, for the PS3, it, that's going to go away. It's going to go away probably within the next three years. I've been racking up on every game that I want for the PS3 that's digital on my console right now because I know this is going to be a reality. I just got finished doing uh, the whole situation with the Wii. I mean, with the Wii U. I did the Wii already, but I did the Wii U because that went down. Shout out to the completionist. He did. He bought every game. That's the way it's going to have to be done. Shout out to Kelsey um, Lewin for Pink Gorilla Games. They did a phenomenal video uh, on the, the subject. You can go check that video out. And they're not even talking about emulation, but you got some people that's on the on, on this platform on YouTube that are flat out just pointing the finger at the gaming industry. Like, why? If it's if it's just for content, that's fine, cool. But let me tell you something. This is a hobby of mine. This is a passion of mine. I go out my way to buy these consoles, and I know everybody don't do that. I know everybody don't go out and buy these these consoles. But I'm I'm gonna tell you. If you want to preserve these games, going the route for with the gaming companies is not the way because you know what they're going to do? They're going to do the same thing eventually what they're trying to do with the PlayStation 3. They're going to do the same thing what they're trying to do with the Wii, what they did with the Wii U and with the Wii. It, it's th those game, no front, those storefronts are going to just go away. So what is the best way to do it? I, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm looking at what Kelsey Lewin was talking about, where there could be a library, a digital library or a database of every game just for preservation. Somewhere we can point to and say, this is a game. This is how to access it. And we just find a way to um, access it in a legal sense. And she was even talking about uh, finding a way to make it law for us to have access to these games. Now I, I can, I can, I can live with that. That is good. Because, let me tell you, Sony is about to get rid of their entire, their beautiful PlayStation 1 library that's on the PlayStation Store for the PS3. It is a phenomenal library of PS1 games that you cannot buy straight out in a store. And if you do buy them on the second market, you're talking about four, five, in some cases, $600 games that some guy who has a brick and mortar store or somewhere on eBay is trying to get over on you. So. It's a good service, but it's going away. So that's why I say it's our responsibility. If you want to preserve these games, you better find every game that you want to be preserved, which I'm going to be honest, some of these games don't need to be preserved. Some of these games are terrible. But for artistic and historical purposes, I get it. If you want these games, you need to go out and get them. You got to go out and get them and find a way to store them somewhere. I'm not saying I'm not an advocate of for piracy. I'm not one of those guys. I love to own this stuff. I love having the disc. I love having my cartridges. I love having these games to play on the fly. Whenever I get ready. Now I do have these mini consoles. You know, I bought those flat out, but you know what I mean? Th those come from the company. That's cool. But look, those are discontinued. 
And there are some great games on these consoles, but they're con- discontinued. So this is what I mean. They don't really care about keeping, you know, 30, 40 year old games in the limelight. It's up to us. If we're going to be able to sit here and love this uh, hobby, if we're passionate about this hobby, we're going to have to take matters in our own hands. That is, I mean, that's just point blank. I'm just sorry. I understand that people are going to be like, well, what about the movie industry? What about the, the music industry? This is just a whole different breed. And the fact that it is different, I'm here to say I agree with what Kelsey and the completionist, that video that they did. That was a, an amazing video that they did where you basically had them come up with a solution that, that may not work. It, it's a long shot because some of these companies is, and, and some of the legislators just aren't with this whole thing with this preservation thing. They shoot it down every single time when it comes to that and co- they, they claim copyright and all these other things. I get it. But you're going to have to take matters in your own hands if you really want to preserve these games. I mean, I, it's just, it just that's just how it's going to be. You got to understand, you got a guy like the completionist, which I think he's a phenomenal guy in the gaming, in, in the gaming world. He does, a, he, he does good stuff for the games, for, for gaming in general. And Kelsey, I've been loving Kelsey ever since she's been on a Metal Jesus show when I first saw her and the, the knowledge she has in games. And these people have a, a, a great collection behind them talking about preserving these games. And I know everybody's not like that. And if you're not like that, this probably is not for you. I just got finished watching, and, and I, I, I'm just going to say, I just got finished watching Young Yeah. This guy got so many plush toys and figurines, and he has all this other stuff behind him talking about he does not want to buy a, a old console to play games. I, I just don't understand that. Like, how could you get all that stuff for a backdrop for your video? For your videos but you don't want to get the consoles that you claim that you want to be preserved or the games that you want to be preserved this is what i i mean i don't it's not a knock on him but i'm just saying it's like huh it doesn't make any sense now like for me this is why i said before if you've been watching my channel if you if you've been watching my videos i appreciate it if you made it this far i appreciate it i buy the games that i want to buy I'm a I'm a sports head, but don't get it twisted. I do love watching or watching. I do love playing other games outside of sports, and I collect them. Some games I've collected that are extremely expensive. Some games that I've that are that I collected, I paid a good pit, a penny for them. But I did it because I want the games that I love to be preserved, and that's just how it's going to be. That's just I mean I'm not I don't advocate anybody to try to preserve every single game i mean that does to me that's that's crazy now a collective group i mean i think i think it's attainable if you would do it as a collective i will say like maybe like you have a thousand people or like a group of people that want to get together to preserve all these games and find a way to do it legally i'm all for that but it, it, it for you the individual it's your responsibility if you really want to preserve these games you have to take charge and make that happen you have to these companies no matter what you say about these companies they could put out a collection they could put out a compilation they can put out they can keep their put games on their up and running store for the ps5 or whatever but eventually those stores are going to go away and when those stores go away guess what those games are going to go away and we're going to be right back in the situation that we were dealing with we were talking about this thing right here and my Wii U over there, and my PS3 that's right here on this other side of the desk. We're going to be dealing with the same thing. So why are we worried about the companies to do this again? Why? I don't, I don't understand. It's just, I don't usually get like this, but I was just sitting back just listening to the videos all evening. And it just got to the point, it's like, you know what? I got to say something about this because it makes no sense. If you want something done, you have to do it. I love the video games ever since I was like four or five years old. And I've been wanting to collect games when I had the money to do it ever since I was about 10. I, and now I said, I wanted to have a place where I could play every single game that I love at any time I want to. And I'm able to do that. 
And I, I'm thankful that I'm able to do that. But at the same time, I want these games to be around as long as possible. You know, before it's all said and done, if I had to take these games and, and do a John Hancock and put them in a museum or whatever, or sell them to somebody who's going to be uh, interested and take care of them, the, the preservation lives on. But what I'm not going to do is just sit back, make a video talking about, oh, this is a problem, and get people riled up. Because I believe that's what a lot of people have been doing. And I, I, I take this hobby very serious, and I take it to, serious to the point where I don't look at this as an investment. I, I look at this as a historical piece, of, historical pieces of work. You look at this GameCube right here. It's, it's, it's a beautiful piece of work. Look at my PlayStation 2, both of them. My mini one right here and my, the, the fat PS2. These are beautiful pieces of work. My Dreamcast right here. I just, I just don't understand, like, this is, this is a very easy fix, but it's up to us to do it. Point blank. It, I mean, that, that's just how it's going to be. If you made it so far, I appreciate it. I really do. I didn't want to really rant about this, but this is uh this is this this is like a this is low hanging fruit, y'all. And, and anybody else know if they want the games, if they want to preserve them, I know a lot of people probably got a lot of these games on their hard drive already, playing emulators, and they preserve the games that they want, and 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 some of these people are doing it already, just not saying anything. Now, me personally, um, I have a few games that uh that I can't buy that are um digital and i play on emulators and i don't say i can't buy because i just can't it just i just don't want to be shelling out thousands of dollars and i you know i mean i just don't you know some of these games at the end of the day is beautiful and, and fun to play that, that they are they're just not worth it you know they're just not worth just going to buy one game like just go look up keo flying squadron <laughs> just go look up that game you know what i'm saying just go look up a game like that Blast win for the Saturn. I think that's been released. I, I found a Batsu gun for the Saturn that's been released. Uh, and I got to go to Play Asia to buy that. That just reminded me. Because uh, I want to play it on my Saturn, but I don't want to pay $240 for one disc. I think it's like $49 on PS4. All right, I said enough. I'm getting out of here, man. Y'all understand what I'm saying, man? It, it, it's our responsibility, man, at the end of the day. It, there's, no, it's nothing, there's no other way around it, point blank.